Good morning. Welcome to the video. Thank you so much for clicking on the channel. So as you can see by my uh, sweaty shirt, we already kind of started the warm up today, but today's workout is good. So as you guys know, I've been recovering from a back injury, but today, especially yesterday, yesterday was like, I was like, I don't really feel anything at all. Like I noticed zero pain, really any discomfort at all. So um, today we are pretty much getting back into almost like fully back into training. So I'm really, really excited about that. So part one of today's workout, we have Bulgarian split squats. Literally my least slash favorite leg exercise. <laughs> So those are done. Now coming up next, we actually have a superset. So it's going to be weighted pull-ups. So what we're gonna be doing is I have this 15 pound weight right here. I'm gonna have it <laughs> between my legs and uh, it's sw between sets of between six to 10, <laughs> most likely gonna be sets of six. And the second part is going to be floor press. So single arm dumbbell floor press. So I'm gonna come out here, 50 pound dumbbell. And then I mean, exactly what it sounds like. You're laying on the floor and you're doing a bench press basically, but without any bench. So that's going to be four sets of that. Let's do it. All right, set three now. It's still crazy to me. Pull-ups, I've been do, able to do them for a while, but weighted pull-ups, like, I've never actually really even tried them, to be honest. Um, so the fact that I can do sets of six is pretty cool. This, this next part, this is the last part of the workout. This is a, um, this is a big one, a big one for me at least, since the injury. Uh, so it's going to be a 20 minute EMOM. The first part is going to be 12 burpees in the first minute. Now, I have not done like regular burpees since I hurt my back. And so obviously I've done a couple just to see how they feel and they feel fine, which if you would have told me a week ago I would have been able to do these, I would have been like, hmm. I don't believe you. Uh, the second minute is going to be 15 band resisted uh, push-ups. So put the band behind my back and do push-ups like that. It makes it a little bit harder. Um, the next one is going to be step-ups with a dumbbell. So step up to the box right there. And then the last minute is going to be a 45 second plank. So if you've been following before I hurt my back, this is very similar to a workout I would have done before injury. And so I'm excited but also nervous to see how this goes. I mean, I don't have any pain, it's just like, I love working out, and so the fact that I am pretty much back to 100%, it feels really nice. But let's do this, it's gonna be a tough one. It's gonna be the first time I've really moved like this in since I hurt my back, so let's see how it goes. All right, the workout's done. That felt so good. Like being able to 
to do just like regular burpees. Those, those band resisted push-ups right after the burpees, those got really, really hard. Normally I don't have to break up push-ups really at all, but I had to do like 10 and five on those. That was tough. And the step-ups, those were, those were nice. I think more of a, more of a confidence builder than anything. Um, I didn't go super high on the, the box. I just did the 20 inch box, um, but it still felt really good. And then the planks, those are planks, you know, you just kind of have to, to grit through it. All right, so I totally forgot to mention the shoes that I was wearing. So these are the new Nano X's or Nano 10's, whatever you want to call them. Um, this is my first time actually using them. So first like real workout. I had done like a couple things in them, but this is my first time using them. Uh, I don't really want to give like a first impressions yet, but as far as like, I guess it is kind of a first impressions, but as far as the first workout goes, they were nice. They are a big shoe though. Like compared to the Under Armour shoes that you guys have seen me wear multiple, multiple times, it is like polar opposite to that, like with how, th it's just a thick shoe. Um, so I'm excited to continue using these and then eventually I'll do a, a review on my second channel because um, I know a lot of you guys like to hear what I think about the shoes. But all in all, first impressions, they're pretty solid. So I just got finished eating lunch, which <laughs> I was just too hungry, that's why I didn't film myself making it. But it was just sandwich and chips and a, this is the Pepsi Zero, I guess? Zero sugar, it's actually pretty good. But I was actually having a conversation earlier about this um, and I thought it would be kind of interesting to bring up in the video. And so as you guys can see, <laughs> This is the same lunch that I have pretty much every single day. It's pretty much the same lunch I've had every day since like quarantine, social distancing started. Um, and it's funny because that's just how I am with like anything in general. Like I, I'm just not someone that's like super, like I like all food, but when I find something that works for me, that's what I do. Like I've seen comments on like my videos of people being like, oh, you just, you eat the same thing. Like, doesn't that get boring? And like for me, this is just how I've always been. It doesn't have to be healthy or unhealthy food. Like I did the same thing when I went to McDonald's, right? Like whenever I went to McDonald's, it was two McDoubles, two McChickens, a large fry and a large drink. That's what I always got. When I went to the Mexican food shop, it was a California burrito with sour cream and most likely a quesadilla on the side. Like it was always the same thing. It's just how I've always been. So the reason that I bring that up is like, if you're someone that is similar to me and you, you don't like trying a bunch of different stuff or you find something that you like and you're fine with eating that for an extended period of time, if you decide to change your diet or you decide you wanna start losing weight or whatever that might be, you don't have to feel like you need to eat all of these different foods, right? Like if you're trying to find out what you like, of course, that's fine. But like if you find something that you like that's enjoyable, that fits your macros, your calories, or it, it helps you reach your goals, I don't think you should feel pressured to have to eat a bunch of different types of food if that's just not something that's super important to you. Like for me, I've never um, identified myself as like a, a foodie. And I know a lot of people are like, that's crazy, how can you be like that? But like again, even when I was really, really overweight, I ate the same thing over and over again. It's just how I've always been. And so like, if you're someone that's like me, you shouldn't feel forced to eat a bunch of different foods. But that was just something that was on my mind as I was eating the 20,000th sandwich of this quarantine. <laughs> We need to talk for a second. So something that I've had to deal with basically since I started my Instagram is other accounts like stealing my content, right? Stealing like mainly like before and after photos. And at the start, it was more just like people stealing them just to kind of like grow their account. Um, there was like a lot of shout out pages back in the day. And so it really wasn't, like it didn't really bother me that much. It still doesn't really bother me that much, but this particular instance is pretty frustrating. So to be honest, like almost daily, I still get tagged in other pages that are using my my uh, before and afters. Um, you guys will send them to me, which I appreciate. But this one was really frustrating because so someone tagged me in it. The, the page is called Hannah Weight Loss. I'll put it up on the screen. And when I went to search them on my main account, couldn't find them. So they had obviously blocked my main account. So that was like a little weird, right? So then I went to my second account. I was able to get onto their profile. And if you look at their, <laughs> if you look at their bio, it says DM for shout out. That's pretty standard, right? And then it says still struggling to lose weight. Odd five second water hack kills food cravings and melts two pounds every night. And so if you go to the, the link in the, the bio, it basically, it takes you to what is kind of like known as like a click funnel um, site. So if you click there to read it, I mean, it has this huge thing, like I'll scroll and it's just these stories. 
just scrolling, scrolling. It's like basically saying a bunch of stuff like, hey, is it hard for you to lose weight? Like, how, why is it so hard for you to lose weight? Like, it's, I mean, it's ridiculous. Look how long this is. It's, it's insane. But if you finally kind of get towards the end, you start to realize what this really is. So towards the end here, it says, today things are finally about to change. With Sonia Rhodes' help, we've created a clinically proven and all natural formula that will allow you to finally melt your body, belly fat and take back control over your hunger and cravings with no medications, no exercises, no dieting, and you can start today. And we've called it Leptoptix. <laughs> the one and only all natural proprietary blend that targets the true cause of belly fat, leptin resistance. So basically, it's just an ad for some random supplement, right? And then if you dig a little bit deeper, it shows that they're selling it for $60. Now, the reason that I'm frustrated about this is, you know, if people wanna try and make their money, that's fine. I, you guys know that one of my biggest things with, you know, sharing my journey and showing people that you can lose weight is that like you cannot, these shortcuts and these, they don't work, right? I 1000% I don't believe in that. And what really frustrates me is the fact that they, basically blocked me on my main account so they knew that I wouldn't be okay with this and they still used it. It's frustrating because I know that like this is just one account out of probably thousands that are doing something very similar. I wouldn't be surprised if it's someone that owns a bunch of different weight loss accounts that are literally just used um, to sell these products, right? They, they somehow get a following um, and then they are just pushing these products. That's literally all that they exist for. And so, you know, I'm not gonna sit here and say, we need to fight back because it, it's one of those battles that it's almost pointless to even try. Because if we say, if we get this account shut down, there's gonna be a thousand other ones. And so like, the only thing I can tell people to do is, you know, if you see my transformation on any page other than my own, probably haven't, I probably haven't okayed them to use it. And especially if there's, if there's any sort of mention about supplements or about weight loss pills, definitely haven't let them use it. But then going even further, like don't follow accounts that it's not the owner of the transformation that's posting the transformation. So the main reason that I even wanted to bring this up is one, I wanted to say thank you guys for, you know, always making sure that you're tagging me in these things. Just understand that almost always I am not cool with it. I'm, I did not give them my grace, you know, didn't give them my okay to, to use my pictures. But again, it's like, it's one of those things that there's nothing I can do about it really. You know, I can bring light to it, I can shed light to it, but I can't stop it. And I know that might sound defeatist, but that is just the truth with how many accounts there are out there. Um, I will never push a product that I don't really believe in. And I would, you, you'll never see my transformation being used to push anything. Um, for me, it's, my transformation is about hard work over years and years and years. And if there's anything that says anything otherwise, it's probably BS. <laughs> but with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. There's one other thing that I wanted to say. Oh yeah, look above that. And yes, I'm growing out my facial hair. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> Obey the warning signs. And when there are flashing lights or wigwags, don't attempt to cross until they come to a complete stop.